friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to our channel TM Square. Of course, today we are talking about the closing notes on IST QB AI tester certification. Thank you for making it to this far because of course, uh, your contribution to watching this playlist adds a lot of value to our other viewers because uh, certainly it justifies that people have made it through the entire set of tutorials and they are helpful for other learners as well. So thank you so much for coming to this particular tutorial and episode. In this tutorial, we'll be certainly talking about the wrapping up, uh, the tips and tricks or sort of things what you should be aware of before you uh, get into the examination. I hope certainly your preparation has been really great. And if in case you think you do have any other queries, there is all the details in the description of any of my videos. You can reach out to me through Facebook, LinkedIn, or just ping me there or drop me a comment on any of the videos and I will be happy to respond back to you. More importantly, in this episode, we are just talking about the summary of the examination. So this examination contains 11 chapter, which is certainly a lot of them, which uh, of course is not so easy to digest. I'm not sure how many days you have taken to come to this conclusion, but uh, at the end of the day, it's uh, very important that you remember all of the things and not only just remember because different topics needs different uh, you know effort from every individual to make sure that they had a very good preparation and we don't want you to fail uh, even for the first attempt right so we just want to uh, make sure that people succeed with our tutorials and uh, we certainly look forward to give you all that understanding what is probably remaining here so this entire uh, AI tester certification consists of 11 chapters which talks about every single aspect of AI but from a testing perspective. Of course, this does not have the deep dive of what is uh, how animal model is implemented, but it does have the workflows. It does have the interaction of the environments. It does have what exactly a tester needs to do while working uh, for an AI tester, AI system or as an AI tester. So uh, it's very crucial that you gain knowledge what you really have. And at the same time, you uh, look forward to, you know, get certified as well so that you can showcase to your portfolio through your portfolio that uh, you have that capability, you have the proficiency, what you need to get started as an AI tester. Of course, down the line, AI tester will be very, very in demand, in including the uh, testing portfolio. So given that you are certified today, it would certainly add a lot of value. So I think uh, the chapters are very, very detailed and has been discussed with as much detail as possible with a lot of examples. Uh, still, if you think, you are free to reach out to me. In this tutorial, we are talking about the various steps, tricks, and the summary of the questions distributed across the chapters. Tips and tricks, of course, I would say, given that you have been through foundation level, you know exactly, first of all, believe in yourself. And uh, most important thing, you need to be uh, through the sample papers. We have discussed some of them uh, in our tutorials and rest. Of course, you can go ahead and practice uh, through the official website. Trust me, there are no mock papers, there are no dumps available for this because this is a certification which has been recently launched and this justifies that why don't we have dumps for this? Because we never had dumps. ISTQV doesn't have dumps for any of the ISTQV certifications. There are some people who are not even certified have published some fake questions on internet for foundation level because it was easy to populate them. But when it comes to advanced levels and specialists, nobody has courtesy to you know, build up that fake set of questions. It takes some effort, right? Anyways, uh, so tips would be more of like, uh, concentrate on all the key areas, the terminologies, because this is one of the foundation level specialist certifications. So they'll be more curious on uh, terminologies here because they are a lot, okay? It's not limited to few of the uh, important things. There are a lot of new terminologies what you might be getting introduced to. And uh, having a grip on that, differentiation between that would be very, very important, right? As we talk about the self-learning systems or we talk about the, you know, uh, autom autonomous systems and etc. There are so many things which are differentiating between themselves with hairline difference. So we don't want you to get puzzled up. We don't want you to get confused. Rather, we want you to be very, very sure and uh, confident about what you are learning and prepare well for the certification, right? And uh, talking about the sample uh, question or question distribution across the chapters, uh, we have 11 chapters as we told you, uh, chapter 1 will have 4 questions, chapter 2 will have 4 questions, chapter 3 will have 4 questions, chapter 4 will have 4 questions, 
Chapter 5 will have 3 questions. Chapter 6 will have 2 questions. Chapter 7 will have 4 questions. Chapter 8 will have 4 questions again. And uh, chapter 9 will have 6 questions. That means chapter 9 plays a really vital role in your journey towards getting certified. Chapter 10 just has one question and I think we have discussed that already in our playlist and uh, chapter 11 has four questions again. So distributed, if you talk about the distributions of the questions, uh, most of the chapters have equal weightage, that is four points. And uh, certainly that's not something good about us because we can't look forward to skip anything. In fact, they're all relative to each other. So, you know, preparing through the content is very, very important. And at the end of the day, uh, you know, having a combination and relationship between all the items are very crucial. Do not learn any chapter in a very independent fashion because all the chapters have some kind of correlation among themselves. So they are connected to each other, right? They have some kind of relationship from chapter two, even if you're talking about chapter 10 or chapter 11 has a lot of concepts from chapter four and chapter eight. So uh, we just have to correlate things, just not stand alone because uh, the journey, if you understand the concepts right at one place, it'll be easy to relate when you learn something new about it. Right. So don't lose that grip. That's the most important thing. And uh, distribution part. Anyways, I have told you. So look forward to put your effort accordingly on each of the chapters and uh, rest. I think you have been through the play playlist. So you know what exactly the examination is expecting. So at the end, I will just keep it short and to the point. So all I would say, if you still have any further questions, I'm always here right in front of you. So feel free to get in touch and uh, ping me with your queries and I'll be happy to answer that and rest. I would wish you all the very best for your certification preparation and the examination, right? So thank you so much for watching this video team. And uh, that's all from this particular video. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding and, you know, look forward to see you in other playlists of our channels. Till then, happy learning. Take care.